Well, I'm here with the parents in Nova Scotia, sunny, incredibly sunny Nova Scotia. And tonight we're making shao, which is a kind of an old Acadian dish. Basically, potatoes, pork chops, kind of all grated up, mixed together into something that resembles a sort of very, very, very thick potato pancake. It's delicious. Delicious. So we're just about to start making it now. We've got all the ingredients. See what happens. Alrighty. I have the easy job of pretending to stir the meat up. However, my dad over here, he's. This is something I used to hate as a kid. I used to hate this. This, this thing the most out of any job ever. This was the worst. When have you ever? When I make it myself. Oh, when you make it yourself. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Also, when I was a kid, I had to grade it a couple times. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes. Okay, so now we have our grated potato. Again, uh, if it's a little bit pink, doesn't matter. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Right. Uh, we have, I don't know, five or six cups of batter. Mm -hmm. So now we will put approximately three quarters of a cup, maybe more, of flour, and that's mm -hmm. a, it's a chef's option as to how much, that's a trial and error. Yeah, just kind of feel it out. Yeah, so once you get the batter, or the flour in the batter, you will see how uh, thick it is or how runny it is, sort of thing, and it should not be, it should not be runny, period. Right. Ah, lovely, perfect. Yay! Uh-huh, getting there. Okay, now if you take a spoonful, sort of just stick there. Uh, but if it's if it's too if it's too runny, uh, it'll just be running off the yeah, uh, off the spoon. Yeah, exactly. Sort of so. And a little bit of salt, not much. It's mostly uh, to taste. If you like a lot of salt in your food, then put a lot of salt in. If not, just a uh, a little sprinkle, you're more than enough. You can always add it afterwards when you're eating. That's true. And of course, something to harden the arteries with. Yay! Is a little bit of uh, vegetable oil. So that, uh, uh, that much? Well, just covering the bottom, you know, with maybe about a eighth of an inch or so. Alright, so then we take our browned chop, pork chop, and just spread it on the bottom there. Batter over top. Uh, oh, you can fit all that in. Oh yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. If you have too much batter, the unfortunate thing is that it won't keep. No, it really doesn't. You got to well, fry it up. It has a tendency to turn black. Yeah. After a little bit too much time, mm -hmm. sort of thing. So one thing I would recommend also is that you. Place tin foil in the bottom of your oven because this is going to splatter all over the place. Mm. Okay, so yeah, if you do happen to have any extra batter, you should probably just fry it up as a pancake because the pancake will at least sit for a couple of days. Anyway, so now we're in the oven for an hour at 420, and uh, we'll see what comes out. All right, so we are just out of the oven. It's been an hour. And it's still boiling. And it's still boiling, so uh, yeah, we gotta let that go. But look at that nice brown on the side and on the top. Mm -hmm. This is artery clogging goodness right here. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is served hot. Upside down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pig out on this, and you don't wanna see that. So, here we are. Oh, we need water. Acadian Shaw. It's delicious. Mmm. 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 Mmm.